So, you are just getting started with your brand new passion, right? Who knew that there was a whole community and universe devoted to writing implements like pens and pencils? While you were browsing around Pen Chalet, the thought occurs to you. These fountain pens are an investment. Are there any hazards that I need to watch out for while using a fountain pen? You're in luck because we have exactly what it is that you're searching for here. Here are five frequent issues that might arise with fountain pens, as well as solutions to these issues. Mistakes to avoid when using a fountain pen. Number one, failing to clean your pen. Unlike most ballpoint pens, fountain pens need a little upkeep. A straightforward cleaning is one of the most often encountered types of required maintenance. If you don't clean your fountain pen regularly, the ink might dry up in the feed, which can cause it to get clogged. Despite the fact that it could seem to be a quite major problem, both fixing it and preventing it are rather straightforward processes. If you haven't given your fountain pen a thorough cleaning yet, all you need to do is take a bulb syringe and flush water through it until the water comes out clear. Check watch our video on how to clean a cartridge slash converter fountain pen if you are unclear how to clean the inside of your fountain pen. Mistakes to avoid when using a fountain pen. Mistake no. 2. Writing with too much pressure. Writing using a fountain pen requires very little pressure, if any at all. This is one of the many amazing advantages of using a fountain pen. In point of fact, writing with an excessive amount of pressure may cause a nib to take on an appearance similar to the unfortunate individual seen to our right in the photo. When you write with too much pressure, the tines on the nib may get bent out of place and it is even possible for the nib to spring. A nib is said to have sprung when it has been raised off of the feed as a result of a bend in the main body of the nib itself. It is important to keep in mind, however, that in order to do this kind of damage to a nib, a respectable amount of power is required. If you are afraid that you may be using too much pressure when you write, write with a mechanical pencil that has a lead size of four or smaller, until you are certain that you won't break the lead. This will help you determine how much pressure you use when you write. Mistake number three, using the incorrect ink when writing with a fountain pen. The fountain pen itself is probably not the most interesting aspect of the fountain pen pastime. Rather, it is the hundreds of different inks that may be used with the pen. When you go to your neighborhood craft or hobby shop, you may be tempted to pick up a bottle of some inexpensive ink while you are there. Be cautious to read the labels, since there are a lot of different kinds of inks, some of which are not designed to work with fountain pens. Some inks, such as India ink, calligraphy ink, and others like them, are formulated to work only with writing instruments known as dip pens. These inks should not be used in fountain pens, since they are not meant to be fluid enough to run through a feed. We have seen far too many fountain pens that have been blocked, melted, and permanently discolored. Always be sure to read the label and stick to inks that have been created expressly for use with fountain pens. Mistakes to avoid when using a fountain pen, number four, using the incorrect cleaning solution. When it comes to cleaning your pens, you may find that you need to resort to something a bit more powerful than water at times. It is extremely vital to be aware of the appropriate cleaning solution to use as well as the appropriate time to apply it. In no circumstance should you ever clean any component of your fountain pens with rubbing alcohol. It's important to keep your fragile fountain pens away from rubbing alcohol since it's a strong chemical that might destroy them. Use a tiny quantity of pen flush to remove any stubborn stains if you find yourself in that situation. Pen flush may be used to soak pens, feeders, and nibs. However, doing so for an extended period of time is not something we recommend. If you want to soak your pens for the night, it is best to do so in water or water with a few drops of dish soap added to it. If you want to soak your pens in dish soap, it is best to soak them in water with a few drops of when using aluminum pens, use caution around ammonia. Because of the chemical reaction that takes place when ammonia is exposed to aluminum, the pens that you have made of aluminum will get damaged. It is important to study the product's ingredient list very carefully since ammonia is the primary component of the vast majority of pen flushes. When it comes to cleaning aluminum pens, 
we recommend taking the nib and feet out first. In any other case, while cleaning your aluminum pens, you should just use water mixed with a few drops of dish soap. One of the most common mistakes people make while using fountain pens is to not use them at all. Each and every fountain pen is an individual piece of art that also functions. They are the physical manifestation of your ideas as you extend them onto the paper. It is a terrible waste to let beautiful pieces of art collect dust in a drawer, on a shelf, or in a container while they are in storage. If you don't use your fountain pen for a long and then you put ink in it, the pen will probably have trouble starting when you try to use it again. There will be a buildup of dried ink on the nib or in the feed, which will make it difficult for the ink to flow. There are a variety of effective strategies that can be used to maintain your pens functional and in working order at all times. One of these methods is to set up a daily rotation of different pens to use. Use a new pen or set of pens each day compared to the one used the day before. Keeping a diary is a good example of a pastime that promotes the use of fountain pens. So this is still another approach you might pursue. Also, it's always a good idea to never have more pens inked than you can maintain in a regular rotation. The versatility of fountain pens as writing implements extends to the kinds of inks that can be used and the sizes of the writing tips that may be used, both of which are not possible with other kinds of pens. Once you have a basic understanding of how to care for them, they will last a lifetime and provide the writer with many hours of pleasure and satisfaction.